Hi, welcome to Call on the Midwife. My name is Charlene Campbell, and I just wanted to come on for a short little video here. For those of you who are considering coming to our Herbal Tincture Kit class on September 30th and September 31st, and we'll be doing, or, or sorry, October 1st, um, it's two days herbal class kind of here in Idaho. I just wanted to talk to the people that live out of the city here who are, you know, who aren't local that we, what we're going to do is because it might be too distracting to, to have it live. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom film it for everybody who registers. So if you register, um, and you want this class and you, I'm going to talk about what the exchange is. There's an exchange of energy with this class. So um, there's kind of a, a an admission cost, but it's not of money. <laughs> it's of kit, kit items, which I'm going to go over today. But the point that I want to make today is that we're going to actually have that available for you online. So those of you that live in other countries or other areas that have registered, um, well, we need to have a formal registration from you via email. Um, and you can register either with Faylene or myself. You can go to our Facebook page, which is um, underneath. Uh, it's in one of the links in my, one of my films, my recent films about this class that you can, you can go look at. It. it says Herbal Tincture Class or whatever. Anyway, so... This is what we're going to do. We're going to have it local here, but then we'll also make it available for other people who want to, who don't live near us. And so if you'd like to take part in this class, then please um, register and um, let us know if you're going to be attending in person or via the Zoom. And then we'll have your email for your registration. And you can also register at charlene at birthjoyeducation.com. Okay, now I'm just going to go over the, the things that we're collecting. So as you know, if you've been watching my channel, um, I have a kit list, which is I'm just going to grab it to show you. Um, this is the kits that we recommend people create for themselves and that we create for other people. Okay, and I just, so what we're collecting, we're not collecting every single item on the list because there's some items that we just we need more than others and so um, I'm going to give you an uh, an outline of what the items are that we actually are collecting so we are collecting flannel sheets anything that's flannel it could be um, it could be a receiving blanket could be a diaper could be a breast pad could be um, a menstrual pad anything that's made out of flannel um, and also t-shirt fabric can make really good, um, cloth for sanitation, for the birth, for the menstruation and for the bathroom needs for the families. And then, um, cloth diapers, of course, we are collecting too. Um, and then dish gloves, because we've learned, um, that in countries where they're, they have low resources. Um, one of the things that's really helpful for the midwives um, it, on the ground is to use um, gloves that are kitchen gloves rather than the, you know, the traditional um, gloves that we use, which are basically disposable. And what we found was um, I actually have a friend here who used to, she's a midwife practicing in Rigby at the birth center there, and she used to pr live in Mexico and where they had low resources and it was just that was her you know that was where she lived and they didn't have a lot of access to reusable gloves and you could go through like 50 pairs of gloves in one birth really because you're constantly taking them off and having to put new ones on because they kind of get all crumpled up it's hard to save those little thin gloves you know and so what we have kind of adopted for our kits is kitchen gloves so we are taking kitchen gloves. So the cost of admission is two sets of kitchen gloves, if you're going to do the kitchen gloves. Um, so, and 
if you're going to do soap, it's two bars of either Fels Nafta or Zote soap. Now those are the those are the bar soaps. They're like a dollar or two dollars, and you dollar fifty to two dollars depending on where you get them at Walmart or where you can get them all over. You can get them at the dollar store in Ashton. Zote. I think they're two dollars there. Might be a dollar fifty. I don't remember, but anyways, they're fantastic because they last forever. You can wash all your all your family cloth. Now, I just brought a couple to show you. This is the 8x8. So the two different ones that we are taking right now for any of our classes that you're registering for, or if you're coming to circles, I, I also have people bring these. Not every time, but just maybe once every few times, bring something to help, you know, contribute because I don't charge. Um, but I like to have the exchange is what I've always done and it's worked well. Um, but anyway, so this this one is bigger. This was my favorite one, actually. <laughs> this is the, um, these are the ones I use for myself now. But these are also, you know, they're just like sustainable. Like they could be used right now in a birth center. These are. So like my house is kind of set up like a place of refuge for if things do change and the hospitals get full, you know. This can be, this is all set up like a birth center right here. And so, yeah, anyway, these are double plied. They're surged on the edge. You can zigzag the edge if you don't have a serger, but the surging is super, super, super nice. See? And um, so these are 12 by 12. These can be used for pads. They can be used for, um, bums they can be used for a lot of stuff okay and wiping up i mean they're, they're just really great now these are eight by eight some people do five by fives and i i start when i started out we did five by fives you know but they're really small <laughs> and i've been you know i use family cloth for myself and so when you're using it you know it's nice if it covers your entire hand and rather than smaller than your hand so yeah, so I like the 8x8 eight eight size myself. And these are just a few little ones, just really nice. And they wash up really, really good. Like see, for example, here, they didn't have to serge it on that end. They just cut it 16 inches, fold it, and serge it on three edges. Just so easy. Okay, so there's the, you can bring um, like several old sheets you could bring like four receiving blankets. The other thing is towels. We'll take like two towels, two big towels or four hand towels or six washcloths, face cloths. Now they can be used. You can go to the DI and just buy them. If you can wash them, that would be great. If not, just bring them along. And, um, and then the dish gloves and the soap. So those are the four things that I thought if, you know, people could be thinking about that if you're planning to come or if you're planning to do it online you can send those in to 1892 Salem Pines Lane Rexburg Idaho 83440 and don't forget to register at Charlene at birthjoyeducation.com um, or on the Facebook page we really need a, an actual confirmation so you need to private message us and tell us if you're coming so that we can arrange to put you on the list and make sure because even though you've said you're coming on there sometimes it's kind of a lot of people say that they are interested and then there's others that say they're coming but we we need to know for sure because we are purchasing the herbs and so right now we have um an outline of the total and i'm just trying to get a final count for how much it will be for each herb um, I'm going to just look something up for a second here and read it off of my computer. Um, so we are going to be doing, um, black cohosh, blue cohosh, cramp bark, cayenne, cinnamon. Those are some of the ingredients that are going to be in these tinctures. Motherwort, St. John's wort, mistletoe, yarrow, shepherd's purse. Um, yeah. So those are some of the things that are in the tinctures. And I think that's all I have to say about that. So bless you. And I hope you will come to our class. 
or join in on Zoom. And if it's on Zoom, I will send you the link for uh, as soon as I can. And you can go on and watch it at your leisure. Okay, well, bless your day. And I'm going to go do my next video now, which is going to be on emergencies and responding in the low resource setting. <laughs> bless your Sabbath. Bye-bye.